I know a lot of people who are really into self-improvement and also the truth. And what this sometimes means in practice is that they assume other people are also really interested in improving themselves and will therefore want to hear the truth about everything they're doing wrong. I've given talks in which afterwards someone I know in the audience will run up to me and be like, okay, so here's everything you did wrong. And then they'll rattle off a list for me. Uh, this is a little jarring and made me think maybe I should publish a guide to giving unsolicited criticism. Rule number one of giving unsolicited criticism, don't. No, but seriously, this is usually the right choice. Most people don't appreciate getting criticism they didn't ask for. And even those among us who do sometimes appreciate it and find it helpful, if you don't have the right relationship with someone or you catch them at the moment in a moment when they're not in the right frame of mind, um, it can end up being very upsetting or uh, off-putting. Another reason that many people, including myself, often don't find unsolicited criticism very helpful, even if it's meant to be, um, is that the person is pointing out a thing that we're already well aware of and we just haven't yet managed to fully fix yet. So if you were to tell me, you know, Julia, I think your public speaking would be so much better if you could just not say like all the time. I wouldn't be like, oh, huh, yeah, you're right. I never thought of that. I guess I'll just stop. Uh, I'm like well aware <laughs> and trying to fix it, but haven't fully succeeded yet. And so in cases like this, all you're really doing is calling the person's attention to something that they already know and is frustrating for them. And I think this happens a lot. However, if you are determined to try giving unsolicited criticism and you want to maximize the chance that it ends up being helpful and well-received, I do have a few other tips for you. Rule number two, check your motivation. Are you giving the criticism with the main purpose of helping the person, deep down, really? Or are you giving it because you're annoyed or frustrated? Uh, if you're like, oh, this girl says like so much, it's so annoying, I gotta tell her. Um, if your motivation is not pure, it's probably gonna show and your criticism is not going to um, be likely to be helpful or re well received. Uh, also check maybe to see if the thing you're pointing out is something they can in fact change. If you're like, you know, you're just too tall. Uh, it's kind of intimidating. <laughs> They're not gonna be like, okay, I'll be less tall. Thank you. Rule number three, um, frame your criticism in terms of an opportunity for the person to do something that would be awesome and not uh, in terms of pointing out a thing they're currently doing, which is not awesome. So for example, say, uh, you know, I've found that in public speaking, it's really helpful to deliberately make eye contact with people in the audience that helps keep them engaged and interested in what you're saying instead of, you know, I noticed you don't make eye contact with people in the audience and I think it, it really puts them off and makes them bored and disengaged. Same content, um, but very different framing and therefore very different reception. Rule number four, um, if you can, uh, frame your criticism in terms of something that you used to have a problem with and that you, you know, managed to fix to some extent. So like, uh, you know, uh, I used to have be late all the time and it really like pissed people off. And here's something I did, which like, you know, made it less of a problem it might work for you too. I think this makes the person feel like, you know, you don't think that you're better than them. You're sort of in it together. It helps mitigate some of those uncomfortable status dynamics that come into play when someone feels like they're being scolded by someone who knows better than they do. Rule number five, um, sort of relating to my point about how a lot of criticism is about something the person's already aware of, I think you can uh, alleviate that problem somewhat by acknowledging that you realize that a thing is hard to fix. So if someone, like just saying, you know, blah, 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 saying maybe say like less, uh, I know it's really hard to change these kinds of ingrained habits though. Just saying that, that little qualifier like reassures the person that you don't think they're a moron for not having fixed it already and, and relieves some of this feeling of like, oh, this person thinks it's so easy, I can just snap my fingers and fix this problem. I think it makes people a lot more receptive to what you have to say. So that's basically it. Um, and if all else feel, fails, remember the uh, criticism sandwich. Compliment, criticism, compliment, which honestly works on me even when I know someone's doing it. <laughs>